Who's, who's flying? Breaking news here uh, in the Diamond Bar area, I believe we have a uh, police pursuit underway. Uh, I believe it's Rich Prickett in uh, Sky 5 HD. Rich, is that you? Hi, Frank. Yes, good morning. It's Rich Prickett up here in Sky 5 HD. And we are now in the Buena Park area. I'll bring up the map here uh, in just a second. Uh, here we go. And uh, show you that there is a uh, CHP is actively in pursuit of a uh, the front portion of a, a big rig, the cab portion of a big rig. Uh, they're saying this is a stolen out of the San Bernardino area, and now has made its made its way all the way here to the Buena Park area. We're uh, along Artesia Boulevard, uh, just passing. I believe that was Firestone. Uh, he was traveling along the uh, 57 down to the uh, 91 freeway. Picked up the five before exiting at Beach Boulevard, and you can see that now he's uh, just making a uh, drive through on Artesia here, going through an intersection here. I don't know if that was a red light or not, uh, but we have a CHP, a number of unit, units behind the uh, big rig, as well as uh, the air unit up above here. We're going to, we're just now getting overhead, so we're going to try and get in position to look inside the uh, driver's side uh, of the, uh, the cab here. And uh, we're not entirely sure how many occupants there are. Uh, we believe it's just one person that's, uh, that's in the in the uh, uh, big rig here. Uh, again, this is the stolen out of San Bernardino. It looks like he's making a turn here uh, southbound on Altura. And uh, basically just driving at a slower rate of speed here. Nothing uh, too erratic as far on the freeways. Just, just basically uh, re refusing to stop for CHP here. And uh, they're basically just trying to stay behind and keep it in sight here. And uh, we haven't heard any attempts to a spike strip. I don't, uh, we don't believe that would be uh, very effective for a vehicle like this. But uh, so all they could do is really just keep an eye on it and hope that this guy comes to a stop here. Uh, we're in a commercial area here in the Buena Park area. Looks like he's at a uh, fairly slow speed here. We'll bring up the uh, speedometer here. Looks coming, uh, well, partially to a stop there. Uh, we're not sure. We haven't heard if... Uh, if he's somewhat familiar with the area or or not. Uh, you can see some people there uh, off to the side here taking a look. Okay, so now we've come to a stop here on a Altura and a Regio here in the Buena Park area. You can see the area has gone, has gone through the shot there. Number of CHP officers out of the vehicle here uh, asking the uh, people on the sidewalk to just uh, Kind of just get out of the way, take some cover here, and they got their guns drawn. As this, this, uh, the driver of this big rig has now come to a stop here. Uh, we'll try, we'll temporarily push in here and see if we can get a, a look inside the cab portion of the big rig. You can see the driver there, uh, just leaning over in the in the front seat. Again, we don't know how many occupants are inside the cab portion of that big rig. Uh, but we can say that there is a, uh, at least three, four CHP officers that are directly behind the big rig with their uh, guns drawn and giving commands, asking the driver to uh, uh, throw the keys out the window and leave the, the uh, big rig with your hands up. And we'll see if uh, he will comply here uh, in the next couple of minutes. Uh, we're not seeing, well, it looks like the door is opening now. We'll keep a fairly safe shot here just to make sure we don't show anything uh, that's inappropriate uh, for live television here. And we'll see if this uh, driver is ready to surrender to officers. And it looks like he's got, uh, showing his uh, waistline there that he's that he's not armed. He's got his, he's got his, uh, had his hands up. Now he's got his hands up and he's outside of the cab He's going to turn away from officers and slowly back up. If not, uh, uh, they may ask him to go down into the prone position so that they can approach the vehicle. Again, they don't know uh, if anyone else still remains in the in the big rig there. So they're going to try. The, so they'll request for him to start backing up slowly, which it looks like he is doing at this point. He's showing a uh, sign that he is not armed. And uh, so... 
once he's gotten close enough to the officers, they'll make an approach and, and take him into custody and check the, uh, the the rest of the cab portion of this big rig. Again, it, again for those of us uh, just joining us, this is a uh, stolen big rig out of the San Bernardino area. CHP has been following uh, this big rig at a uh, basically uh, fairly calm speeds along uh, major freeways between San Bernardino and Buena Park before exiting at Beach Boulevard and ending up here where he just uh, all of a sudden decided to come to a stop and has uh, now surrendering to the CHP. Uh, we don't know if he did that on his own or if maybe the big rig was just running low on fuel, but uh, here he is. He's now being taken into custody by the CHP. They're going to start making their approach to the vehicle and determine whether or not uh, anyone else is inside. So they'll start to back up the suspect now towards the car and they'll make their approach. And we should see them give the all clear here in just a moment. All right, he's got his hands up, giving the uh, the all clear. So the cab is has been cleared. It was a solo solo driver in a stolen big rig here that's now being taken into custody by the CHP here in the Buena Park area. Live in Sky 5, Rich Brickett, I'll send it back to you at Hollywood. All right, Rich, thank you for that. Good to see that that ended calmly. And